Hey, look, it's a shooting star. Make a wish. Don't call it a shooting star. It's not an actual star. Uh, yeah, it is. Wrong. What? Yes, it's a common science misconception. Shooting stars are actually meteors. What's a meteor? Meteors occur when meteoroids enter Earth's atmosphere or other planets at high speeds and burn up. This creates an effect that looks like a fireball, or what people call shooting stars. Well, if that's a meteor, what's a meteoroid? Meteoroid is a rock in space that ranges from a dust grain to a small asteroid. And as you can see in this animation, this is a meteoroid in space. And then it turns into a meteor as it goes into the atmosphere. And then once it crushes into the planet, it becomes a meteorite. Why do people call a meteor a shooting star then? Calling it a shooting star seems logical as a descriptor because viewers see the streak of light produces a meteor falls through the atmosphere. The streak of light allows us to see the meteor fall or shoot across the sky. We associate glowing in the sky with stars, so a burning meteor seems like a star moving across the sky. But what even is a star then? A star is a huge ball of gas that burns with nuclear fusion and gives out light. Stars have their own light, so they shine bright in the night sky. Oh, I understand it now. So basically, when I see a shooting star, it's really just a meteor in our Earth's atmosphere. Yes, that's correct. And here listed are the months that meteor showers happen throughout the year and the names of them. And you can actually catch these meteor showers. You don't need binoculars or telescopes. You just need to sit, uh, stay outside. It'll be around 12 a.m. to 1 a.m. And I challenge you to spot these meteors. Now that you've learned about the differences between meteors and shooting stars, next time say, hey, look, it's a meteor. Make a wish.